Hey guys, it's Jaylon. Welcome back. I'm here today to do my last update for the Child of the 80s Project Pan. This is a Fantastic Ladies Club project and it was created by me. And this is a project that's coming back next year, which is very exciting. I actually expanded the prompts from 40 to 80. A little crazy. And so I'm excited that it's coming back. And I think this question did come up. You can only focus on the the prompts that you haven't hit, like gotten to yet. If that's the way you want to do the project, it's totally up to you. I'm super excited that it's coming back next year. It's gonna be fun. So I had one, two, three, four, I had seven prompts remaining. So normally this project has eight prompts, but I had seven because that's all I have left out of all the prompts. And I'm able to roll out two. So the first one that I'm able to roll out is for the prompt, what's love got to do with it? A product you find average. And I brought in the ColourPop gel liner in Overboard. So all the writing on this has pretty much flaked off. And this is the shade here and that's all that's left and it's leaning to the side because that's all that I have left in here. It's very little. I'm going to try to finish this next year because there's no need in having this teeny tiny amount left in this pencil. I have a couple of ColourPop pencils that are like this that I'm going to work on next year to finish. So that is what that shade is. It's a nice color, but I would not repurchase it because these pencils break all the time and it's very frustrating. The next prompt that I'm at my goal on is Light Bright, something that makes your skin shine from within. And for that, I brought in the Auric Glow Lust Radiant Luminizer in the shade Morganite. So it's this here. I really did enjoy this. I really did enjoy this. I think I've had this in the project for at least a couple months. Last month, I had seven uses and I was able to get the three more uses on this to hit my 10 goal use. Yeah, I really do like this. I'm glad that I have it. Okay, so those are the two items I can roll out. Let me talk about the items that are still remaining. If you watched my last video, you know we almost had a disaster with this one. This is for the prompt Star Wars something glittery and I have the Tammy Tanuka loose pigment in Enchantress. So here is the product. So last month, I dropped this as I was showing it on camera and it shattered everywhere, but I was able to save it. Now, what I have not done is gone back in to repress it. I've just had so much going on that it kind of fell off my radar. I have it sitting on top of a an organizer here. Oh my gosh. Hmm. And I just, you know, I can still make it work but I can't, I don't want to put it in my magnetic palette because I usually sit, have that sitting up and I worry that like the shadow is just going to fall out of it because I have not repressed it. Like I pressed it like with my finger, but I haven't gone in and worked it with alcohol and I may need to even use a little bit more glycerin to get this to stick better. But it's so pretty. Oh, got to be kidding me. So pretty. I only have two uses on that. My goal is 10. <sighs> okay, next up, the prompt is Nintendo, something that's fun to play with. So for this, I brought in two little quads. And the first one is by Pat McGrath, and it is the Divine Rose Luxe Quad in Eternal Eden. So it's this one here. This is a gorgeous palette. Now I did meet my goal on this, so my goal was to use this three times which I did, I used it three times. Like this shade here is amazing. All of these are. This this one is my least favorite because it's not like super, I shouldn't even say that because it is, I just didn't use it because I, the way that I would use this shade is how I would use Tarte Frosé. So I didn't even use it. I used the other shade, all, all the three other shades though. And I love this, right up my alley. This next quad is by Tom Ford and it is the eye color quad in Cognac Rose. So typical Tom Ford packaging. And then here is the color story, if I can open it. Here's the color story. 
So I have used this once and I did enjoy using it the one time. I'm not as familiar with these this type of shadow. It's like the wet dry formula, but I did enjoy the look that I created with this palette. So one, two, three, four, those are the shades. So I still have two more uses to go on this, but I don't think I'll have a problem meeting that goal. Hopefully. The next prompt is how rude, <laughs> an expensive product. So I went with the Dior Dior Skin Luminizer Air. No, I'm sorry. The Dior Dior Skin Nude Air Luminizer in Holo Gold. So this is the old uh, Dior packaging for their highlighters. And here is the shade. This was a limited edition shade. It's beautiful. I really enjoy using this honestly as like a base because when you end up sh like sharing it out it looks very pink on my cheeks so like on the highlighted areas so I like to place this down and then I will go in with a brighter highlighter but this is so pretty it's gorgeous I love it <laughs> so much so so far on that I have five uses my goal is ten Next up is Where's the Beef, a brown or neutral product. I brought in an eyeshadow. This is by ColourPop. It's the shade Cloud Nine. So it's this one here. My goal is to use this 10 times. And so far I've used it six. So I think Andrea from Pretty as a Peacock mentioned that this is a little, she, her experience with this was that it's a little patchy. And I would say that it's, like when I compare this to this shadow to the Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadow in Hot Chocolate, I can absolutely tell a difference in the quality. But I usually end up mixing this shadow with other shadows. So for example, I'll mix it with the this Sugar Pill, Sugar Pill and Poison Plum. Like I like to mix this whenever I'm doing a darker, dark, like a purple, like a purple look like today. And use it in the outer corner. I've been working on a Viseart shadow too. So I typically go for that first, but I like it for that. I like it to tone down like the bright purple in here because this is not really the season for this shadow, but I'm still using it. And I've mixed it with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance shadow in Love Letter whenever I do more like rosy pink toned looks. So that's how I've been using it mostly. I really don't use it on its own very often. And the reason is because I, because I've got that ABH shadow in there as well. I'm trying to hit pan on and it's got a nice little dip. So I can place the brush that I like to use for the outer corner right in that little divot and just kind of move it around. Yeah, like a brush like this. This is not the exact brush, but sorry, it's dirty. But anyway, so yeah, so I have, like I said, six uses on this. I need four more. And the last item I'm working on is Wild Card. And I came up with my own prompt for that, which is Prince, the musician, rest in peace. And for that, I brought in the Bobbi Brown Nourishing Lip Color in Blue Raspberry. So it is this one here. I am wearing this today. This is beautiful. I love it. There's the shade. Gosh. Mm. I love it. So my goal is 10 uses. I have five so far. I've got a nice collection of purple lip products that I kind of cycle through whenever I wear a purple like look, eye look. So it's in the rotation. <laughs> but if I miss a day, it's because I'm trying to get Bite Beauty Taurus finished. Anyway, that is my update for this month. This is not really a shorter video, I don't think, but we'll see. So cats have abandoned me. They were in here a little while ago. As soon as they hear this thing, which uh, this is probably an eyesore that I had the whole time. As soon as they see this or hear this thing, they get very excited and they all come in here like, here comes Milo. But then they leave. They're all three looking at me right now slowly creeping in and then who's the first one that's going to attack this thing guess oh, he's stuff come on 
Come on. He's not going to do it. Oh, he's going to do it. <laughs> so anyway that is going to be it for today thank you guys so much for watching hopefully you're doing well and staying safe please hit that subscribe button and i'll see y'all next time bye Did you get stuck? <laughs> Say hi. Hey. Oh, the baby. Oh. His ears are like, uh-uh. Not having it. You're not going to hit me, are you? Oh. Okay. And so I brought in a... I brought in an... Aunt, hmm. He's getting lazy. He's like, I'm just going to sit here. Oh. Look at you. You're cute. You're so cute, Marls. So cute. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was too cute. Milo, you did the booty shake. <laughs> Bye.